Hi, I'm Adam from Midwest Panel Builders. We're back from Sun and Fun and we're back up at Midwest Sky Sports where we're going to showcase Garmin's new 8.81 software update for the G3X Touch system and show you a couple of the notable features that they've given us. So the biggest feature upgrade that Garmin gave us in this new software update is the fact that we can now see Rotax FADEC information from the engine page and we also have enhanced cast alerting logic. So if, for example, a sensor failure happens on the engine and our lane light comes on, now we have a engine ECU warning message in the CAS area. And if we touch on the engine bar, hit menu, and go to FADEC information, now you can see lane A has a caution and manifold air temperature has a sensor fault. Another thing that's kind of interesting too is if we fault the other manifold air temperature sensor, now the engine ECU turns red because both lanes have a fault and now you can see lane B status caution has come up. Also engine hours up here and engine throttle position over here. On the 915 because this becomes a power percentage instead of a throttle position when the engine's actually running, this could possibly be useful to somebody who's in flight. Uh, this information used to be available in config mode but now Garmin gave us this information in pilot mode so you don't have to reset the display while you're flying to see if you know whatever fault you're having can be cleared by just flipping a switch back or uh, if you really should land sooner than later. The next feature that we have is the ability to have fuel flow information come into the GTN 650 and 650XI. So if we go over to our utilities and go to our fuel planning, you can see now I have used sensor data. And if I go to our fuel calculation on the G3X, you can see I put that we have 10 gallons remaining in the, in, uh, in the aircraft and our gallons per hour is currently 0.0. .0. And now the GTN reflects that. Now a quick note on this, in order to make this happen, you have to go into config mode on the GTN and the Arink 429 channel that, is, that would be set to EFIS format 2, change it to GDU format 2 and now your fuel data will come in. No configuration uh, changes required on the G3X at all. One other feature that we didn't want to forget about is the fact that the G5 and G3X will now compare attitudes and then give you a miscompare alert if they're uh, too far off. This is a feature that used to only be reserved for those who had more than one GSU-25 in their aircraft, but Garmin has now brought the G5 into the equation. So you can see the G3X is just under 2.5 degrees on attitude, and the G5 is over 10 degrees on attitude, and because of that, we've generated an attitude miscompare uh, cast message and a yellow caution light to go with it. So now, if you're flying IFR and your head's buried in your G3X screen and you're not paying so much attention to the G5, you now have another set of eyes to watch for you um, and alert you if there's a problem and then you can figure out which one's the correct source based on, you know, of course, altitude and vertical speed and airspeed, all that other stuff that you're taught when you're doing IFR training. So as you can see, there's not exactly any groundbreaking features uh, in the G3X update as far as new capabilities. However, anybody that's flown behind the Rotex IS engine for any length of time has certainly gotten a phantom lane light and uh, this is going to be a very welcome addition, not having to go into config mode to see what it is while you're flying and, you know, trying to fly off the G5 in the meantime. Um, and the fuel data in the GTN is pretty nice too, because now uh, if you want to hit direct two on a waypoint or something like that, it'll actually give you, you know, how much fuel you're going to burn to get there, how much fuel you're going to have left. Um, so it's, it's pretty nice. Um, hopefully uh, this means that even better Rotax integration is going to come in the future with, you know, generator alerts and stuff like that. And uh, it shows that Garmin's bringing the experimental and certified ecosystem even closer together. If you have any other uh, questions about this update, there's going to be a, a full change note from Garmin published in the description of this video. You can also give us a call if you'd like to discuss any of the other details. Uh, if you have an avionics project that you're looking for help on, whether it be a sling like this or any other experimental aircraft, give us a call on that. Our phone number is 810-356-3855. Uh, if you want to purchase avionics from us, we have a full online store from vendors like Garmin, Ithra, Vertical Power, and more. That's shopped at MidwestPanels.com. Or you can visit our main website, MidwestPanels.com, where we have uh, all kinds of different pictures of all the different things we do with avionics on these aircraft.